So I was bottling a little while back. In that process, I, I thought of an awesome idea and I let my team know. I said, hey, if we just did this, it would be a lot easier. And, and uh, one member of my team just kind of shook his head and said, I told you that idea two months ago. And quite honestly, I could not even remember that he told me. And so it, it, re it became aware to me that there was just not really a very good process of collecting ideas from everybody. So um, we went and did a tour of uh, Ocur up there and they, they have a system called a blue card system. Um, on that tour it jumped in my mind that hey this is something we can try on the farm. So we came back and we started um, started these blue cards. It's a way to just collect the idea. So when someone uh, on the team would come to me with an idea, I could say, go put it on a blue card so we don't lose it and we can address it next team meeting. So we were getting a lot of blue cards and then it was obvious that we still had a cog in the system. Um, we they just weren't getting done, you know. So we created a system to collect the ideas, we, but we realized we didn't have a very good system to, to, uh, to integrate the ideas, to make them happen. Um, and, and just about that time we were having meetings about uh, PC groups. Um, on the farm we've just never really had a good feel for how to do PC groups uh, with part time and, and people kind of move around just didn't really know how to do PC groups. Um, and then we kind of rested on this idea to break up our big groups because we'd get in a team meeting and we'd talk about an area for a couple people and it wouldn't include these people and then it just wasn't very good use of, of team meetings and our times that way, so we decided to break up into smaller groups, and that's kind of what we have here. So we broke up into uh, these seven different groups, and people are part of multiple groups depending on what their responsibilities are. So once we got the PC groups together, we uh, we act, we had a system to be able to take our blue cards and actually implement them. So. At first we said, when you submit a blue card, this is what Occur did, it says you own it. It's your blue card and you go start and finish and you make sure it works. We click, quickly found for us that didn't work because uh, you may have an idea for someone, some other group and you're not really part of that group and it was just really confusing for people. So what we said is if you have an idea, you take the idea and you put it in that group and that group has the option to either just discuss on their own or invite you into their group to explain it. Um, and then uh, it's really the group's decision to decide whether whether or not to uh, you know go forward with that. If if we decide to either table it for later, if it's the, the time's not right, or we as the group they can decide let's let's act on it. Um, and this is where our PC meetings all of a sudden had meaning. Now uh, we'd sit down in PC meetings, and the blue card would actually drive our PC meetings. So um, if I were, we'll take. Shipping, I guess. If I were in shipping, we have right now we have two open blue cards. We sit down in a PC meeting. Uh, we try to do it once, twice a month. Um, each group do once or twice a month. Uh, you sit down in a PC meeting and you say, the little section on here, last time, what was the action plan? So we have our assignments on here. We follow up on everyone's assignments. We figure out what we need to do to move it ahead, to complete it. Um, and we take notes right on the card, and this really just drives our PC meetings. Um, and it also reminds us what our assignments were that we need to follow up on. Um, so we finally had a way to take the ideas now, put them into a group, discuss it, and then send and actually complete it. The thing that's really helped with that is it's not Jed or Galen's idea that we're presenting to the group, it's the group's ideas. You know, yeah, so hey, they're going to be a little passion. There's going to be a little yeah. skin in the game. Of someone, it. someone had this idea. Let's talk about it. It's, it, it's not. Hey, I was, I have this great idea. What do you guys think? You know, I, I mean, I have ideas too. I mean, I'm part of it, but I don't know. It, it has a good feel for it to it that way. Yeah. Uh, another thing that's been fun to see is uh, just the team involvement in, in each step. You know, we're all trying to figure this out together. None of us have the answers. And it's been fun to just 
work on it together. See a problem and let's fix it. Let's improve it. You know, yeah, that's got to be so empowering as a as an employee to be able to say, you know what, I had an idea. It's not forgotten, and so something's going to happen with my idea. And I think that's what this process really does. But then it goes beyond that to even be in the the engine for your PC meetings. I think that's pretty cool too. This system is just the start. I, I can already tell things we, we can do different. It's not visual enough for me. I'd like to be able to walk in through the door and see what quarter two items I have when I walk in. And this system doesn't allow that. You, you still need to sort through and remind yourself what was I working on. Like what you're doing and you bring up a good point. You're not, you haven't arrived, but you've started a journey and you've, you've started a pretty good process. So that's why we wanted to even film this, because we feel like there's merit everywhere. Our very first PC meeting, we sat down and we said, okay, how, do we, how are we doing? How are we doing with shipping? And everyone said, we're doing great. We're, yeah, no problems. We're, everything's correct and we're, we're doing great. And, and, uh, and so we decided, hey, what if, we, uh, what if we track how we're doing? Let's get some Ruby. So we, we figured out what we wanted to track I think there's 10 items that we wanted to track, and we did a process uh, for uh, Jason to come and put our scores. He, he was our auditor, put our scores in, and come up and, and track that process. Um, and that's where all of a sudden the scoreboard connected for us is, is how are we doing right now. And so if you go here, this is actually the our shipping scoreboard right here. So we said, how are we doing? And as a team, we said, oh, we're doing great. We started tracking, and you can see we are just above 50%, about 50 to 75% accurate for the first while. And uh, we realized that we didn't know that we weren't, or we didn't, we didn't know what questions to ask, quite honestly. How are we doing? We're doing great. But we didn't know what questions to ask, and we didn't have a way to track it. And so. As we start tracking over time, we start identifying reoccurring problems, we start identifying some gaps, start improving that, and then over time, uh, kind of improve it. And this is where our scorecard comes in. So scorecard, we make a goal that we want 100% accuracy in shipping. And then we create a rubrics that shows how, our, how we are doing, and this is, a, this is updated every time Jason goes out, so three times a week. So it's real time, how are we doing today towards our goal? And in our PC group, we can, we can start with this, say how are we doing, what problems can we fix, how are we doing on our goal, and then go right to our blue cards and talk about how to improve it. So but this, we chose to just focus on a milking parlor in the bottling room. So we created a, a rubrics here to track how we are doing on the bottling room and a rubrics to track how we're doing on the milking barn. But for the most part, we're, we, we have kind of some data to look at now, how are we doing towards this goal? Um, and, and the team all agrees that uh, in those areas we focus on, we, we've seen a huge improvement on them. It's been a really good thing and now we're trying to branch out to other areas. So I think that's one thing that's been helpful for us is to focus on certain areas, get them to where they need to be, and then branch out instead of just trying to swallow the whole thing. Well, let's see, I did clarify very well. So our scorecard, um, I don't, we're kind of new to the scorecard. A lot of these teams have been doing it for 20 plus years or whatever, you know. So for us, we've just said each PC group come up with one to two goals, and that's our scorecard. So we have one to two goals from each group, and that makes up our scorecard, and it's usually something that's pretty that quarter, you know, it's, it wouldn't really mean anything for previous quarters or later quarters, just that quarter. In our PC meeting, we start every meeting with how we doing on our, our goals. So um, that, that's one thing about scorecards. I, I don't know, I, I've really enjoyed the connection between them all because for the longest time, it just just can't figure out how to, how to do a scorecard and a, a board and, and PC, it just, but kind of meshing between our PC groups, our blue cards, our dashboard, and our scorecards are all just kind of meshing together. And although we have a lot of 
things to work out. A lot of uh, it's not perfect. We're still trying to figure a lot of things out. I think the philosophy is starting to mesh, and they're starting to see how things flow in these different groups.